Hey everybody, and welcome to the first episode of the Mobile Ads Garage, where we cover the nuts and bolts of mobile ads code in a format that's just like my grandma, short and sweet. I'm Andrew Brogdon, a developer programs engineer with the Google Mobile Ads SDK team. We've heard from a lot of our publishers that you'd love more technical content, so we're here to get our hands dirty, to wire things up, turn them on, and see how they work. We'll have screencasts of real code, hack on real applications, and with the help of my intrepid partner, Gary the Graphics Guy, we'll show you the results. So if you've ever taken a look at the AdMob documentation and thought, that's great, but could you have a ginger explain it to me in a format I can watch on my phone? Turns out we can do that. For our first episode, we're going to focus on how easy it is to get started with the SDK. Let's imagine that I'm in an application. Exactly. One of the simplest ways to monetize an app is just by adding a banner. Yeah. But there's also interstitial ads like these, or even native ads like these. The one thing all these formats have in common is the mobile ads SDK. Properly importing and referencing it in your project is step one. So let's take a look at how to do it. We'll start with iOS. So here we are in Xcode with a very simple Hello World app that I'd like to import the SDK into. So how do I do it? Well, here are the steps. I'll be using CocoaPods today. So the first step is to create or update the pod file. Then I'll run pod install, which will download the SDK and integrate it into the project. And then I'll open the workspace file that CocoaPods creates and I'll be right back in Xcode, ready to go. So here I am in the root directory of my Xcode project, and I'm gonna open the pod file in a text editor. And I'm gonna drop in some text. If you're familiar with CocoaPods, this should look really familiar to you. The important part is this line right here. That tells CocoaPods that the project has a dependency on version 7.0 or higher of the mobile ads SDK. So I'll save this, and then I'll run pod install, which will download the SDK automatically and integrate it into my project. And as you can see, we've got a lot more stuff in this folder now. So I'm gonna open up that workspace file. And now I'm right back in Xcode. And just like any other framework, I can use an import statement to reference it in one of my files. And now that GAD banner view, which is an ad mob class, is properly recognized, so you know the SDK's in here. We've tried to make it as easy as possible to integrate mobile ads. Time is money, and we're all about keeping costs down. For example, the garage behind me, that's not even a real garage. This is like a holodeck situation. What, I could be in outer space? Or I could be swimming with the dolphins? Heck, I could even be backstage with Justin Bieber if I wanted to be. Gary, you going to, oh, legal didn't approve, the, so I shouldn't even do the Bieber joke at all. Well, uh, legal fees aside, we try to keep costs down so we can keep your revenue up. Let's take a look at importing the SDK into an Android Studio project. Okay, so here I am in Android Studio with a Hello World app that I'd like to get the SDK into. So, what are the steps? For Android, there's just two. First, I'll update the app's build.gradle file to add a dependency on mobile ads. Then I'll do a Gradle sync, and I'm ready to go. Okay, here's my build.gradle, and I'm gonna to go to the dependencies section and add a line. That's right down here. The Google Mobile Ads SDK is part of Google Play Services. So what we're doing is telling Gradle to pull in just the ads code with Play Services Ads. And the numbers at the end are the version. You should always try to use the latest one. Now that that's done, I'm gonna do a Gradle sync. That's where Gradle pulls in all the resources my project needs, checks all the references, and makes sure everything's okay. If this is the first time you've used Google Play services, Android Studio might pop up a window and ask you to download something called the Google repository. If that happens, don't worry. That's just Android Studio and Gradle downloading the SDK for you. Okay, now that we've finished the Gradle sync, let me come back to my activity and try to use one of the SDK's classes. There we go. You can see it automatically suggesting the package in class, so the SDK is definitely in the project now. So that's it. Getting the SDK into a project is the first step toward displaying ads and earning revenue. In our next video, we'll cover how to use the SDK to display banners on both iOS and Android. In the meantime, I've got some great resources for you, like our AdMob Quick Starts for iOS and Android, which have notes for Java, Objective-C, and Swift. 
We also have sample code up on GitHub for both operating systems, so check those out if you're interested. You might also like AdMob's no-nonsense guide to app monetization. It's an overview of monetization strategies that includes code and tips from other engineers. If you've got a technical question relating to anything you've just seen, stop by our support forum. And if you've got a question about this video series or a tip on something you'd like us to cover, leave a comment below and Gary and I will see you next time.